Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the insertion sort. Insertion sort works by comparing an element with the element to its left until it reaches an element that is smaller than it. The element is then inserted in front of the smallest element. Let me give you an example. Consider we have an array with a value like 12, 7, 22, 9 and 13. And of course the length of the array is 5 that is 0 to 4 of the index. So consider the first element that is 12 array of like 0 is always going to be your sorted value. Consider this is your sorted value. Okay. So we'll start our execution from the i equal to 1. Okay. So from here we will just take the values for the first for the first iteration. So here my array of i uh, that is like array of 1 it's going to be my key here. Okay. So let's consider the key is 12 and we have to compare this to value okay so if you see the statement here uh, we have to compare an element to its left okay so here my key that is uh, consider this to be like i equal to 12 okay so the first array of the value that is sorted one okay so i is greater than the key if it's greater than the key then of course we have to do the swapping okay so my 12 will go there and my 7 will come here okay so in the first iteration after swapping the array will form something like 7 12 22 9 and the 13 okay now we know that these two values are already sorted so here this is the next value is going to be my key right so what is my key now key is 22 and of course we have to check to the previous one here my i will become 12 is 12 is greater than 22 of course it is not right so the array will remain same it will not change since we are not doing any kind of swapping here correct now next take to the next one so so far this all data are this array data are sorted so this is my key now okay so my key will become 9 okay now i have to check to the previous most left right so here my i will be like 22 and 22 is greater than the 9 right so we have to do the swapping so after swapping what will happen in the sense like it will become like 9 and it will become 22 now if you take the key again so key will will be like we have to compare to the previous one as well right so to the leftmost so here the 9 is like 12 is greater than 9 again right so we have to do the swapping again so this will go here and this will go here right so the value will become like after swapping it will be like 7 and here you might ask like why we are not going from here to here because of course the condition will fail the 7 is not greater than the 9 right so we don't have to do the swapping here so here we'll get this array now here also you can say like still we have like completed from to the third value of the index not the fourth so we have to do one more iteration right so here in this case we have we can see like only two values are there and of course like this will go here right so key will become 23 and i will become 22 and 22 is of course greater than I mean sorry uh, this is actually 13 right so here we have the value of 13 my bad so here key will be 13 and this will be also like 13 so 22 is greater than 13 so here we have to do the swapping okay so that's it it's very simple condition like we will take the one value and we'll check all the previous like in the left hand side if it's greater than we'll just do the swapping okay now let's understand how to do the same in the javascript so here I have a function called insertion short and within that I am passing the same array that we discussed in our example and of course here we are receiving the array as a parameter. Okay. So first of all we have to find the length. So let's length equal to array dot length and then of course we need the loop and as discussed here we can say like we have to take the key from the first. So of course we are going to start the I index from the one okay so here i'm going to say like let i equal to one and it should be lesser than the length of the array and it should be increment one by one okay that's it very simple now as discussed earlier of course i have to take the key so that i can compare or i can validate the validate with the previous element right so here i can say like let key equal to array of not i uh, it should be like i okay uh, sorry the array of i we have to check the value not the index 
okay just to show you i'm going to log the key here probably that will make sense i think now of course we have to loop through each and all the other elements in the array right so of course we need two loops here we are going to go with the inner loop of course you can make this like while condition also but i'll just go with the uh, loop for now okay and here it should be uh, let me give the j on the top okay so let j and here i'm going to start j from some value and i have to do give some condition and of course i have to do the negative like minus minus because i'm going towards the left not towards the right okay so first of all the big question is like from where we should start the j okay j we should start from like i minus 1 okay j equal to i minus 1 why i minus 1 in the sense like if you see our array so this is my key and i have to compare this with the previous one right so here i should start with the very first the previous one so that would be like i minus 1 because i we are starting from 1 so consider like in the first iteration we should start from the zeroth element right so i minus 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so j will be like your 0 okay and then what should be the conditions to stop one thing we know that if the array uh, i mean if the key is greater than the previous one then only we have to do the swapping right so one condition we know already like array of j should be greater than the key okay and that is for sure but here if you see in our third iteration where we have taken like nine and uh, i think this is my fourth iteration zero one two three yeah in the third iteration we have taken like nine right so nine is basically 22 is greater than the 9 and also greater than the I mean uh, after the swapping 12 is greater than the 9 so of course we have to do multiple swapping right so for that of course we need some condition so that we can stop the swapping so for that of course we have to like we are going towards the left hand side right so here I have to like j should be greater than equal to 0 right so when like we reach the last element then of course we should not do anything further so here my condition will be like j should be greater than zero okay and what if we have to do the swapping so we are just swapping with the previous one right so here it will be like array of j plus one and here the array of j will go okay so that means like consider like uh, here j is zero array of zero is what array of zero is my 12 and j plus one is what j plus one is my like here in this position so the what are the value we are getting we are changing that in that particular position so j of j plus one is my like zero plus one is one okay so like this array of j right this 12 will go to the this one okay so let me make it more simpler for you so consider that we have the formula like array of j plus one the index this is basically equal to array of j right so what is j here j if you see j is i minus 1 i is what 1 so i 1 minus 1 is basically my 0 okay so here it will be like 0 plus 1 array of 0 plus 1 and here it will be like array of 0 okay so array of 0 is what array of 0 is 12 so 12 is moving to the next one here but of course we have to move the 7 to the this position right so for that what we can do is outside of the loop okay so outside of this particular loop we'll say like array of j plus 1 equal to key okay why j plus 1 in the sense like of, of course after this loop only we are going to set the key to the previous value right so here already we are doing j minus minus right so for example here j is what j is 0 once this swapping is done it will be like j minus minus so 0 minus minus in the sense like it will become minus 1 but of course we have to get it from the 0 right so here we will just increment the 1 value so it will be like j plus 1 okay so that's it we are pretty much done now we can just return the array and we can give this one okay just to give you more detail I am going to make it like this is my final sort okay let's run and check this one so i'm going to bring up my terminal control j and here i'm going to say like node then followed by the file name that is insertion sort dot js 
and here you can see like we got the key correctly like 7 22 9 and 13 that is what we have discussed here in our uh, this one as well right so here you can select first key is 7 the second one is 22 and then we have the key of 9 which is here and then we have the key of 13 which is here right but if you see the output we have like got something wrong okay the issue here is basically if you see here we have declared the let j and again we are declaring the let j right so it doesn't change the value actually like here j will again always like the first element so let me fix this so i'm going to remove this let from here and i'm going to execute this one that's a small fix here so here you can see like we got the value exactly like 7 9 12 13 and the 12 okay it's giving in the comma comma separated not in the like array bracket because here we have the string interpolation so if i remove the string and then we can see like the same like we will get in the array okay so that's it that's it from my side i hope you have uh, you have understand this and you can just copy the code and you can go to the uh, visualization and you can just see how does it works how does the values are getting swapped and what is the final output okay so i hope i have cleared this with this particular uh, scribbling so i hope you are able to understand if not do let me know in the comments let me give you a quick recap so that you will understand it better okay so consider the first value to be sorted always you go to the next value and check if the previous value is greater than the key okay if the key is lesser than the previous one then of course we have to do the swapping and we will follow the same for all the values and the key will be get incremented one by one and like to check the previous value we have to go to the four most left of the array okay that's why here we are we can see like we have two conditions of course the key should be like array of j should be greater than the key and also it should be the first position that is zeroth position of the array or else we won't do the swapping okay so that's it thanks for watching see the next one very soon